It's gonna be okay. Don't worry. I'm gonna turn that up full volume so that you guys can hear it. That guy is standing over there crying and he's talking to himself like this guy's going on a bit of a journey. He's talking to himself and crying at the same time. Like he's saying, oh, it's going to be okay. Then he's crying because you can see his mouth moving and he's being comforted. The first ever noise I heard come out of him sounded like he was trying to drop a, like a nasty turd. But it turns out that Walker come along and slapped him with a fish. But I find it extremely weird how he's talking to himself, telling himself everything's going to be all right whilst being comforted by someone else and then making probably the weirdest noises that's ever been in a game. So what we're going to do in this video is have a little bit of gameplay in the background. I'm going to be just like taking out enemy bases and stuff. And I want to talk to you guys about what's actually changed in title update 1.0.3. So welcome back to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. On the 12th, so around two days ago now, we had the latest title update. And there is a hell of a lot of fixes. If you're familiar with Division 2, every single title update on that game had about 80 bug fixes. On Ghost Recon Breakpoint, they seem to be doing around 50 or something like that. I will leave a link to the patch notes in the description. As soon as it came out, there was one thing I knew about and I was excited to try, and that was basically grinding the faction missions and the PvP to get myself loads of battle points, because when the game launched, you had a cap of 400 per day. Then, middle of October, they increased it up to 600, and then with the latest update, they were supposed to uncap it and if you go into the battle reward system, like the menu, it will show that there's no progression cap. But everyone in the comments, because I even titled my video after it, has said that there is still a cap. When they get to about 600, they are not earning any more. So I don't know if they've simply messed up and it's bugged. So they've removed the progression like tracker, but there's actually still a cap in place. Or if they've just straight up lied and said they've removed it just to try and get people hyped to go for Nomad, and then you find out that your grind is pointless because you're still capped. All the bug fixes are like missions, gameplay, UI, there's a lot of different bug fixes in there, and there's nothing new in the game, like there's a couple of new mechanics that they've worked on, but there's nothing new in terms of content. I've also been doing a bit of research, the AI that was supposed to be with us at launch is still being worked on, and from my honest opinion, I really think by the time they release it, it's going to be pointless nobody's like there's probably going to be no one playing the game if there are still people playing the game then i don't think anyone's going to want teammates because we're so used to having just us out in the wilderness or like joining up with friends the ai squads that we saw in wildlands wasn't in this game at launch when they do add it which is probably still going to be a couple of months from now i don't think anyone's going to really be too bothered about it so what are the good things that actually come to the title update? I mean, if you were having problems with your drone, that stuff's probably fixed by now. They've done a lot of changes to a lot of different things, like they've been working on the cover animations, but there are only two things that are actually good. And they're not bug fixes, they are actual changes. I would have added in the third being the progression uncapped for your battle reward system, but as I said, it's still capped. So the final two things that are actually decent from this title update. I'm not including bug fixes because there's probably a couple that are going to help me out as well. But the main focus is, number one, is going to be the shoulder switching whilst you're in cover. It used to be so that you would sit behind a box or something, you would strafe left and right behind that box whilst you're in cover, and it just, it was clunky, it didn't work properly, there was nothing you could do. But now whilst you're behind cover, and this works in PvP as well, it's incredibly handy, you can actually press your right bumper, which is the button that's assigned for me to switch shoulder, and you can do it behind cover. So if you're on the right-hand side looking over your right shoulder, you press your right bumper, it will automatically face your character to the left and switch over to your left shoulder. That is one of the two good changes that have come from this title update. The second one has its good and its bad sides. I'll explain as we get into it. And that is the stamina changes. What they've done is they've increased the amount of stamina you have, so it depletes at a slower rate. They've also increased the regen, so it comes back faster. And when you are sliding down hills, I believe it's 50% on this one, but it uses less stamina. So you're sliding, you're using less. In general, you use less, it regens a lot faster. So that is good. The only downside to it is the fact that the sliding mechanic hasn't really changed. It still works exactly the same, 
If you're going down a massive mountain, when you run out of stamina, you're still going to just roll and roll and roll and take damage. So as irritating as that sliding mechanic has been, that's not changed. I, I don't think there's been any change to it. And that for me is a negative because the sliding's always been an annoying feature. And the climbing as well. You can climb up a surface that's pretty much completely vertical. But they are listening to our feedback. So if there are any problems, we report them. They will look into them. Hopefully they'll get them fixed. I mean, it's probably just going to take a little while for them to get everything up and running nicely because there's been a lot of bugs in this game. They've done a lot of fixes. I don't know if they've introduced even more bugs. I've not played too much of it. But in my personal opinion, they are pretty much the only positives to come from the title update. At the end of November, they will be touching up on some of the things they've implemented to this. And they will be working on other stuff. So it's pretty much going to be title update 1.0.3.1 that's coming at the end of November. Anytime between now and early December, nothing is being added, no new content or anything. We literally have to wait until December. Then we will get the first raid, which is going to be on Golem Island. I still have a lot of people talking to me about the video I did, how to access the raid. It's not available until early December. So if you're trying, I wouldn't waste your time. You can't get in there. Apparently people have platinum trophies on the PS4, so they've done it somehow, whether it's a glitch, a cheat, I don't know, but as it's supposed to be, no one can access that island for the time being. But after the raid, we're going to have the Terminator event, and I'm hoping they maybe add some new maps into PvP, sort out the matchmaking, because I was playing PvP the other day, and it was saying like a two minute wait time. So I was waiting, and roughly 45, 50 seconds later, I was getting into a game, and then all of a sudden I started playing co-op PvP, we played our first match, which was fine. We go into the second one. Estimated wait time, 70 minutes. Although it did put us in just under two minutes later. And then the following match after that, it said 71 minutes wait time, but it did exactly the same thing again. So if it does pop up on your screen saying, you've got over an hour to wait, don't back out. Just sit there. It will put you into a game. So I think there are still a lot of bugs in this game. And I'm hoping that the title update, like the little improvement bit at the end of the month is going to help fix some more stuff. So that when the raid comes into the game, it's all up and running properly. There's a lot less bugs. People can actually play and enjoy it. And that is going to do it for this video. As always, let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.